The Edinburgh Fringe is the largest arts festival in the world. Every year, the population of the city more than doubles as tourists flock to see one of the nearly 4,000 different shows. About three million tickets are sold across the month of the festival, with theatre, comedy, music, cabaret, and much, much more on offer. Visitors to the Fringe are often lured here by big names, but there's also many hundreds of smaller productions who don't have the big budgets for a marketing campaign. Instead, the traditional way for them to spread the word about their performance is to come here, the Royal Mile. Successful flyering can have a huge impact on ticket sales. But now, some women are speaking out against the harassment they've experienced from men whilst they're out promoting their show. Lizzie Miesenbeck experienced sexual assault whilst flyering at last year's Fringe. This year she's back to promote a show she's performing in and is reluctant to go out on the mile for fear it will happen again. The sexual harassment would vary from just men making comments about my appearance to them invading my personal space while taking a flyer so that their group could go unnoticed. Um, one day I was flying around a venue bar and three men who were twice if not three times my age um, harassed me um, and cornered me and said they would only buy a ticket or take a flyer in exchange for my phone number. So I felt incredibly uncomfortable and vulnerable throughout my whole experience there. And then things took a turn for the worse, where one day I was around the venue and I'm just a bit distracted and a man who was coming towards me pretended to brush something off my thigh and then moved his hand quite forcefully up my skirt. So before you came back this year, you sent a tweet out. Yeah. Why did you do that? I hadn't heard anyone else have an experience like mine and I felt for a long time that my experience was just my problem. So I tweeted out just seeing if anyone else had experienced it and was willing to or comfortable talking about it. And, and what did and you find? I was really overwhelmed by the amount of responses I'd had from women who had experiences similar or worse to mine. Um, so many women had messaged me saying that they'd been in situations that made them feel uncomfortable, but it's that classic sort of fringe, are you flirting with me, are you actually going to buy a ticket, or do I have to put up with this conversation because my show isn't selling? So you came back this year to be part of a show, and a big element of the fringe is flyering yeah. for your own show. So you've had to do that. How yeah. has that made you feel? Uh, I have been quite nervous and a bit apprehensive. I've been altering my behaviour, not really putting an effort into my appearance and things like that, just trying to avoid any form of harassment again. Some of the women who reached out to Lizzie were still at the fringe and agreed to speak about their experiences. I'm flowering on my own um, and there was one incident where a drunk man tried to get under the umbrella I was holding and give me a hug um, and I sort of politely pushed him off but as he was walking away he, he gave me a, a cheeky pinch on the butt which was unwelcome um, but I sort of laughed it off. I have stopped saying the name of my show as I've been flyering because I don't want to say Love Bites 10pm uh, because I've gotten a lot of just creepy men come up to me and say, oh, are you giving the love bites or, uh, yeah, just just inappropriate uh, comments like that that, uh, yeah, make me feel quite vulnerable. I'm here doing Smoke, which is a show that deals with themes of BDSM, consent and the kind of grey lines around that. When we were deciding how to, you know, market this show as we flyered, uh, we decided early on that I wouldn't be going out in the kind of short skirt party outfit that I wear in the play. Uh, because we didn't want the unwanted attention that I have received at the Fringe and, and similar events before, um, which, is, which is a real shame because it means that I am going out perfectly comfortably, going out flyering like this, but this is not an accurate representation of, of the play or the character at all. Because of the sexual nature of the show, men still feel the right to you know, come up to me. I've had a lot of arm stroking, holding on to me, telling me how how attractive the poster is, that, oh, this will definitely go up on that wall. Others had already gone home, but were keen for their experiences to be shared too. I was out flyering a couple of weeks ago, and these four guys in their 20s, they came up to me and started mimicking what I was saying. Then, just before they left, one of them tried to shove a flyer down my top. I then just couldn't face going out flyering on the mile again after that. I just couldn't face it. So I was out flyering this week and a man stopped me on the street and started staring at me. And when I asked him if he wanted a flyer, he said, no, I just want to stare at you. It made me feel really awkward. 
This was my first show and I didn't appreciate how important reviews are. This one reviewer would come up to me while I was flyering every day, being overly complimentary. He was holding a review over my head for the whole run of the fringe. He made me feel really uncomfortable. Police Scotland have confirmed there's an enhanced police presence in the city centre for the entire month of the fringe with two of these mobile police stations and an increase in high visibility patrols. They have, however, had zero reports of this kind of harassment. Maureen Beattie is president of the Actors' Union Equity. She says they've had more reports than ever this year about sexual harassment at the Fringe. What happens when you come to somewhere like Edinburgh and the festival and the Fringe and you've got streets full of people, there's a slight level of hysteria, I would suggest, um, which is fabulous and it's one of the reasons why the festival is so great, but it also seems to release this kind of underbelly of bad behaviour, which is in our industry anyway, but it really comes out when the barriers between the performer and the, and the person who is making that performance is out in the street, flyering, they're doing their job, they're working, we're getting more and more reports of that, so it's a funny mixture, the balance of we're delighted that people are now coming forward, but we, we would rather it was a world when it wasn't happening, so we're just trying to deal with it. But we've got to get the people who behave badly to stop that bad behaviour. It is completely and utterly unacceptable. You know, we are not up, literally up for grabs. We are a workforce and you must respect us. We need to encourage people to come and talk to us and bring their stories to us. Because if you don't do that, if we do not hear these stories directly brought to equity, there is nothing we can do because we cannot work on anecdote. We know it's happening, but we need the evidence. These small things like somebody grabbing your arse, ha ha ha, isn't that funny? It's a horrible thing to happen to you. So if anything happens to you that you're worried about, phone the police, tell them and they will help you.